Thank you, Marcus. Television. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. On the other hand, last night, the American ambassador again informed an emergency meeting of the UN. The United States would not accept this annexation under any circumstances. Several American destroyers are reported to be headed for the Barents Sea. Douglas Cornwall, chairman of the UN, announced at a press conference that we have never been so close to a third world war. He called on Russia and the United States to promptly renew talks before things get out of control. Television off. Mankind is so depressing. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. 5,000 years of civilization just to get to where we are. Fancy game of chess? Sure, yeah. Speed chess. Speed chess it is. That's what I call a thorough beating. It's not easy for an old man to compete with a machine. My apologies, Carl. I, I thought I should... Don't apologize. You did the right thing. I prefer humiliation to pity. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet.
So, what's your verdict, Marcus? Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. That is a perfect copy of reality. But painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel and let your hand drift across the canvas. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. Sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's, what's it got that I don't? Smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine! Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me.
Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. Get out of here. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. So just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I am perfectly comfortable. Now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? Never mind. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender? The same again, please. See that, Jim? Wonders of technology. Make it a double. You wait here. It won't be long. My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here. So you shut the fuck up, and you wait here. Joss Douglas from Channel 16, can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me! What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way, got it? Got it. Even at Hank? We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We 
get a call around eight from the landlord. The tenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. Well, I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home, I think. I'll be outside if you need me. Too neat, no human rights like this. Oh, Jesus, what the hell are you doing? I'm analyzing the blood. I can check samples in real time. I'm sorry. I should have warned you. Okay, just don't put any more evidence in your mouth. You got it? Got it. <sighs> Fucking hell, I can't believe this shit. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples? There? Yeah, that's it.
on, guys. Get a move on. We don't want to be here all night. Stabbed 28 times. Yeah. Seems like the killer really had it in for him. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with the knife. No, that can't be right. It doesn't fit the evidence. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... the living room. tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim... with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct.
doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. I'm going to check something. Just defending myself. He was gonna kill me. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. What a joke. Of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail, they never tired, they never sad. Perfect, they ruined my fucking life! What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off! You should stop taking drugs, Todd. 
Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant! It's all your fault. Daddy, no! It's all your fucking fault! Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! No, it's her fault. I gotta teach her. I gotta teach her a good fucking lesson. That's what she deserves. First, I need a little hit. You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move, or I'll bust you worse than last time. Took off without a word. I could have been happy. I could have had a family. But no! She gave a shit about how I felt. I did everything I could to make her happy. It just, it just wasn't enough. I just wasn't good enough for her! Fucking brat! Oh, it's all her fault! Oh, I gotta teach her some respect! Daddy's very mad. You deserve to be taught a good lesson. A good fucking lesson. This would have happened if it weren't for you! This is all your fault! Good evening, 
That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Scotch, neat as usual? Absolutely. OK, but you know what your doctor would say? Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Leo, don't make this difficult. Listen to your father. You need to leave, now. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing. That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Stop it! What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! God, you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. Oh, Leo, leave him alone. I'm no. I'm gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And nobody's gonna give a shit anymore because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. No. Oh. 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 Carl, no. Oh, Carl. Oh, he was a fragile machine. Carl, don't leave, okay? Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. The android. Who's the android? Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? Why didn't
didn't she even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling, like fear in humans. You're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? Listen. I know you've been through a lot. But you need to help me understand what happened. Listen. I'm on your side. I want to help you. But there's nothing I can do if you won't talk to me. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. gonna do to me they're gonna destroy me aren't they they're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components they have no choice if they want to understand what happened why did you tell them you found me why couldn't you just have left me there I was programmed to hunt deviants like you I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I, I... I can't. You leave me no choice.
I accessed its memory. I know what happened. What the fuck is it's it doing? destroying itself?
I'm an AK-700 android. I was designed to serve you. What can I do for you? Hello. My program has detected an anomaly. Please contact the nearest cyberlife maintenance. I don't want to live anymore. 